All right, it's that time again to talk a little college football here at Odd Chopper. What's up, everybody? Ben Razza bringing you Week 11 college football. We got a lot going on here. We're going to take some games from the Saturday slate, throw them into a parlay, and see if we can cash that plus money ticket. That is the goal here. Big payday potential. We're going to try. If you're hopping in for the first time, checking out Odd Chopper, this is what we do. All things betting, every sport, every type of bet, props. Games, totals, whatever you want. If you want to support us, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. The community is growing. We want you along for the ride. Let's dive in to what we have going on here. This is going to be a dangerous parlay. As you can see, the first leg is dangerous. Clemson, and I liked Clemson last week, and boy, was I wrong. Notre Dame taught them a lesson at home. Dominated. Dominated Clemson in the trenches. Clemson probably on the outside looking in, barring a miracle. For the college football playoff, but they still have a lot to play for. And they are a seven point home favorite here. And I actually do like them on the buy low uh, off that really disappointing loss. So let's get into it. Louisville comes into town playing good football, one four straight, three straight at home. Uh, they're on a little homestand. Now they hit the road. They've got Malik Cunningham. They want to run the ball too. It's not the same type of attack as Notre Dame, who mauls you with the offensive line, but they had multiple backs go over 200 yards or 100 yards each against James Madison. Against Wake Forest, Louisville had a eight turnover half. Uh, they forced eight Wake Forest turnovers in the second half. I don't really know what to say about that. But it's a team that's definitely getting better. They went into the bounce house and beat UCF early in the year. Again, Cunningham's an extreme dual threat. They've got some things to cause some problems. I'm not denying that, but I think we kind of know what Louisville is. Clemson is back at home in Death Valley. They haven't lost there since 2016. They've won 38 straight home games. So I'll say this right now. If you want to be conservative with this parlay, minus 280 is staring you right in the face. I don't think Clemson's going to lose at home. I really do not see that. I'm going to lay the seven, though, because I think that number is pretty generous. The offense struggled at times, but I will say, Uagalele, he, he wasn't terrible. It was, you know, they couldn't capitalize on drives. I know they made the change to Club Nick at one point to try to spark it. It didn't work. Then they went back. It's been kind of that rotation at times. I expect a good effort here at home. That he's got Shipley in the backfield. He's got weapons. I think they will move the ball and score. I don't worry about uh, them against Louisville's defense, which is fine. You know, it's not terrible. It's not amazing. It's just standard. It's a 51 and a half point total. We don't need a ton of points here. I think Clemson's offense will set the table. Now, Clemson's defense, they got manhandled. There's no doubt about it. It's still Clemson's defense. And this is a D-line that I still believe has multiple first round picks on it. It has the depth, even with some injuries, even with Notre Dame dominating. Clemson still 18th in the country in opponent yards per rush, 12th in the country in yards per game allowed on the ground. These are outstanding numbers. So they are going to still provide an ample challenge for Louisville's rushing attack. Back at home, off the bounce back, I do not see Clemson getting absolutely crushed in the same manner two weeks in a row. If they do that, well, it's a beyond a lost season for them. I'm going to call for Clemson to bounce back in a big way here. Look good against the Louisville team who's been living at home, living off turnovers. I'm going to say Clemson covers this seven-point spread. I'm going to get to my next game in just a second. But I will say, when you're building parlays, when you have so many sports going on, you want to add money to the bankroll when you can. Of course, we always want to do that. Bet five, win 200 at DraftKings is the easiest way to do that. Link in the description of this video. What does it mean if you're a new user? You click that link. You just sign up and deposit. You take your five bucks and you bet a money line. Michigan would be a good example. Why? Because they're minus 12,000 on the money line. They're not going to lose at home to Nebraska. Once they win, you turn your five bucks into $200 in free bets. It's that easy. Five into 200. Then you get that money. Say you take some shots and you lose it. No harm, no foul. It was free bets, $200. You haven't lost anything. That is the beauty of it. So take advantage of that. And again, money line that has to win. So take a heavy favorite. Here we go. Second leg. Scrolling. Doo -doo -doo. Auburn. Minus 105. Couldn't find it. I found it. I like this spot. Minus one and a half at minus 105. Texas A&M and Auburn are both in tailspins. But who is worse? It's Texas A&M. Texas A&M has lost five straight. Quality teams, Mississippi State, Bama, South Carolina, that's a little sketchy, Mississippi and Florida, they lost the last two at home. They had the flu run through the team. They've had suspensions. They lost three offensive linemen for the year. 
The quarterback position was a mess. Wegman didn't even play last week. He should be back. It doesn't even matter, though. This team is in a tailspin, as I just mentioned. I don't see what they're doing that's going to cause a lot of problems. They've got A-Chain. He's fantastic. The rest of this team, the depth is an issue. They cannot find any type of consistency on either side of the ball. And now they're out of College Station. They have to go into Auburn. Auburn's home field advantage, even with a struggling team, is immense. I look at Texas A&M. I've been shorting them last couple weeks. They've been uh, one of the big bright spots, just shorting them to success. I'm going to continue to do it here. On the other side of with Auburn, they've lost five straight too. Even harder though. LSU, Georgia, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Mississippi State. That is brutally difficult. They fired their coach. Cadillac Williams, my man. Cadillac Williams takes over. I liked what he did. He had that team playing really hard against Mississippi State on the road. They lost in overtime last week in Starkville. No shame in that. Now they come home. They look, and again, I know this is subjective. I know this is hard to quantify. They look like the more motivated team. They look like they're playing hard. They've got a mobile quarterback. They've got a rushing attack that I think will have a lot of success against Texas A&M. And we've seen this time and time again. Texas A&M, they hang in and then they wear down late because I really think that depth is an issue. Of course, they have all the A-plus five-star recruits. Not gelling right now. I'm going to say that Cadillac Williams and Auburn hold serve at home. Minus 105 is even better. A little extra money to the parlay. We're already up to nearly three to one with only two legs down. Auburn, second leg and my favorite of the three bets that we're going to talk about. Now, before I get to my final bet, I will say live betting, other bets, talking through these games. It's only Thursday when I'm filming this. We've got a couple days till Saturday. Come on in. Be part of the community. And you can do that with premium insider access. It is in the link of the description of this video. Again, the description of this video, you should always check it out. There's a lot of good stuff in there that benefits you. It's a great opportunity. 100% free for the first week. 100% free. You will not be charged a dime. You come in for the first week and you hang out. Just hang out Saturday. Tag me. Hop in my channel. Hop in all the guys you see. Lindy, Lofty, everyone on this channel here at Odd Chopper. You sweat the games. We add some live betting tickets. We give you the full card. Maybe you stick around. Maybe you say that was a cool week, but I'm, I'm going to pass. Either way, we're just glad that you came in and said what's up to the Odd Chopper community. Link in the description for premium insider access. Join, and when you do, tag me so I can say what's up, introduce you to the team. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. The final leg. Why am I going backwards? What is he doing? Well, my first game was the earliest game, but I was so ashamed to do this. I wanted to make it the last. I can't believe it. But you got to hear me out. I'm doing it. Massachusetts, UMass plus 17 and a half, also at minus 105. So this is a big time parlay, over six to one, because uh, we're only laying five cents on two of these lines. I know, I know. And I'm a UMass alum. It's really tough. But I just refuse to say that Arkansas State of all teams should be laying this amount of points. I don't care where they're playing the game. Yeah, they're at home. It doesn't matter. Let's dive into it. UMass is terrible. They have one win on the year. It was against Stony Brook, who I truly didn't know played football. They just lost by 17 points at UConn, and I actually thought they played pretty well. UConn's not a bad team. That is not the most embarrassing loss by any stretch of the imagination this year. The thing that I want to talk about with UMass is they found something in that game that they have not had the entire season. And what is that? It's the ability to throw the football. Shocking. Olsen, their quarterback, threw for 266 yards against UConn. That has not happened. In the game before that against New Mexico State, he had 97 yards passing. Before that, they were going with a triple, not a triple option, but a, a dual threat quarterback who really wasn't a dual threat. He was a pseudo running back, and they were just running the ball. They found something and opened up the offense. The rushing attack against UConn had no success. But the passing attack did, and they were only down 13-10 at half. Got away from them a little bit. I was actually pretty impressed with what they did. And I think that's a sign that some of the offensive woes are being addressed for this UMass team. They've obviously lost a bunch of games, but they've been competitive in a handful of them. Competitive against UConn. And let's turn to the other side, because we're getting 17 and a half points. So we're not asking UMass to win the game. We're saying we're going to avoid a beatdown by Arkansas State. Arkansas State is 2-7. and seven. They beat Grambling, and then they beat Louisiana Monroe. 
that's not the best uh, you know body of work either. They're coming off a 31 to three loss last week. Two games ago against uh, Louisiana, they lost 38-18. So they're 20-plus point beatdowns in two straight games. And they, their metrics are almost as bad as UMass. UMass is outside the top 100 in basically everything. Arkansas State, 97th in points per game, 119th in yards per game, 123rd in yards per play. Defensively, they're outside the top 100 in all those stats too. Just not good. They're not a good football team. Both of these teams are bad. Are there levels to being bad? Well, yeah, we see this time and time again. I'm. It's a 49 and a half point total, and I'm getting 17 and a half points. That is pretty thin margins. I don't think Arkansas State scores a ton. If UMass can get me 14 to 20 points, I think we cover this number, and I do think there's outside chances this game is actually pretty competitive. As disgusting as it is to say, we have to look at the lines and examine the value, and I think that UMass of all teams has the value and I am going to call for them to cover this game. So a historic parlay in many iterations. Here we go. Let's recap it before I bounce on out of here. We've got Clemson, we've got Auburn, and we've got UMass. You round them out plus 627 on that parlay. Nice ticket if we can cash it. And that's what we're going to try to do again. So I want to thank everyone for watching the video, supporting us here at Odd Chopper. Make sure you come into the Insider Access and take advantage of all the promos, starting with that DK Bet 5 win 200. But for me, for Clemson, for Auburn and UMass, good luck. Enjoy all the games this Saturday and stay tuned each and every week for my college football parlay.